Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. Sorry if you can hear the noise behind me, that is the rain on the roof in here. So this is the DERC DE25, or I have no idea why it says DERC. DERC, if you didn't know, the parent company of Holystone and the distributors, so it is a Holystone drone. It just says DERC on it. As you can tell by the box, it looks very similar to something else. So this is virtually an exact clone of the SDRC Z5. The only difference with this is, this runs on 2.4 gigahertz. For some reason, it's not as quick when you fly it. Doesn't feel as fast as the Z5 flies. That might be my imagination, but it does, to me, feel noticeably different. So let's have a look what you get in the box. That's what you get in the box. Nicely boxed, but it's exactly the same box as the Z5 comes in. You get the drone, the controller, and underneath here you get a spare set of props, a charging cable, and a manual. Let's go in the box. We've all seen that before. So, this is the drone. It is a brushed geared drone. Okay. As you can see, it's identical in every way to the 5 apart from the fact it says D-E-E-R-C. No, I don't even know why it doesn't say Holy Stone. It charges via a USB cable. It does take quite a bit of time to charge and it gets roughly, it says 18 minutes. I was getting more like 13 minutes out of it when I flew it. It has got foldable props, as you can see, and it has got an adjustable camera on the front and it has a SD card slot, if I can remember where it is put the SD card slot. You're going to see the flight footage coming up at the end um, when I flew it, the camera, everything is very similar to the, well, it's the same as the Z5. I don't think it's any different at all apart from the fact it's slower and its range is not as good on Wi-Fi. So I was getting 120 to 140 meters out of my Z5 with this thing, I'm looking to get 70, 80. I could use a Wi-Fi extender on it, but the point is, this is what my channel does, I fly things out of the box, and out of the box, the range isn't good on this, on the Wi-Fi, and that is because they've used 2.4 gigs. 2.4 gigs, massive advantages, you don't need to have a 5G phone, a lot of phones still aren't 5G, even though a lot of people say, um, YouTube channels now, everything's 5G, that's not the case at all. There's a lot of stuff that still isn't 5G. The definite 5G phones are your iPhone 5 up. If you buy an iPhone 5 up, it's going to be 5G. But I've got an Hawaii phone, doesn't have 5G. And a lot of others, I've tried an Honor. The Honor phone doesn't have 5G. So you need to be careful. So this is 2.4 gig. Or the massive advantage of this is, you can buy this from Amazon. So that means you don't have to buy it from China and wait the time it gets to get here. And but the biggest value of course in this is buying it from Amazon is you have a return policy. If you don't like it, you can send it back. If it's rubbish, you can send it back. It isn't a rubbish drone by the way, a little spoiler, very good. But so is a Z5. But you can send it back. So that's a massive advantage of buying from Amazon. The shipping from Banggood is now as bad as it's ever been. Uh, I have to wait ages for stuff, shipping details, if you'll get them, are lucky if you pay for tracking, I don't think it makes any difference because you don't need to get any. So I can see the massive advantage and people will probably pay more money to get one of these from the UK. Now, it isn't a little bit more money, it's quite a lot more money. I'm not going to say the price of it, there's a link down below to Amazon to where you can buy it from, but it is a chunk more money. Is that if, if you think that's worth paying the extra for to get that peace of mind, and a lot of people do, I know that for certain, a lot of people walk by from China, I've got a video coming up in a couple of weeks you'll see, and it's all about whether you should buy from China and the pitfalls of doing so, so if you watch that I'll explain more in there, but yeah, a lot of people will buy this from Amazon, and it's a good drone, you're not going to be disappointed with it, so it's as simple as that. So underneath it has a pretend optical flow sensor, because I presume in one of the models they were going to put one in here, and... It has, it lands there, you're landing. Legs. So you've got two there and that one there. The battery comes out of the top here. It's a nice battery as you can see. It's proprietary obviously, but I'm not mega against proprietary batteries to be honest. I don't like USB charging because I think it's too slow, but I'm not against proprietary batteries as such. It does make the drones look a lot nicer when they have proprietary batteries. They're not a hatch that you pull open the back here and tug a wire out with your battery on. I know a lot of people disagree, but this is your transmitter, you have two very nice fake antennas on the top and you have 
a left and right stick. So if you want to fly this, this is mode two out of the box. If you want to fly it mode one, you hold that down and turn it on and it's now gone into mode one. And then to get it back again, the simple fact is you just turn it off and every time it will start in mode two. So if you are mode one flyer like myself, you just hold that button down to do that. So that's the controller, let's turn the drone on. Have to turn it off out to get it to bind. There you go. So, as you can see, it has nice flashing lights on the front. You can see the camera going up and down there, so I'm far too close. You that focus? I'm having trouble focusing today. There you go, so you can see the camera going up and down. It makes that annoying beeping sound. It also makes that annoying beeping sound when it's recording video footage. Now you can do what I did on my Z5, which is take the butter out of the back of here. I'm not saying do that, I'm not saying for one minute do that. This has a 300 milliamp hour battery. Now, I do know that my Z5 and my F11, this one hasn't done it yet, but I imagine it will do. Certain times I start this up, put it on, and the app tells me this is flat. There's an issue with the app, not with the controller. I don't think the app's that great. So speaking of apps, this obviously has an app it runs on. And we need to connect it to Wi-Fi. Let's find the Wi-Fi signal it's on. There you go. SJ GPS Pro. I don't know why I'm struggling to get focused today. Let's just try and focus that in for you a bit better. There you go. We connect to that and then the app it runs on is HS GPS V1. So Holy Stone GPS V1. And when you open the app up, oh look and lo and behold, it's the SJRC app with a different name on it. So we select DE25, it'll go D E E R C D E25. Go into your controls. And it's telling me it needs to do a compass calibration, which we're not gonna do. But it's just the same as it is to do the uh, Z5. If you, I think I do that in my other video for Z5. So if you do want to see that, go and look at that video. But having said that, it's so easy to do. The instructions in the manual are very good on this. You've got your normal things on the app. Just bear with me. It's going to make me do a compass calibration. So let's do a bad one. There you go. So I've done a compass calibration. Do do that at home. Obviously, make sure that's outside. I'm sorry, this noise is getting worse. It's the rain. So you've got different modes on there. You've got follow me. You can return to home. The automatic take off and land. You have a map on here somewhere. If I can find it, where is the map gone? There's your map. The map actually works really well on this app as it does on the SJRC app. So the app's much the same. It's exactly the same in fact. So. I'm going to leave you with the flight footage and um, you see what you think about it. If you've not seen the Z5 one, you, need, you could do it watching that. You see what the camera's like, they're not the best camera in the world, but they're not horrendous either, they do a job. The one thing I will say is that the range on this thing isn't as good as it is on the 5G, 5.8 GHz model, but I can't see the 5.8 GHz model for sale in the UK. One thing to note is I do recommend this drone even at the expensive price it is and that's only because you can buy it in the UK and it's a fantastic drone. Maybe wait for it to come down for sale on an Amazon Prime special but I do recommend it. So thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day. Okay, so this is the flight footage of the D25. We've only got a very short flight. I didn't see the point because it flies exactly the same as the Z5, except it's a little bit slower and the camera looks identical to me. So I've just flown it outside my house a little bit so you can see how stable it looks in the air and also what the camera quality is like. Forget the movement in it. It's quite a sharp camera, so for, the, for this type of drone, this is what you're going to get. But like I said in the review, it's expensive because it comes from Amazon, so you're paying that extra. But it's a nice little starter drone. And like I said in the video, try and get it on a deal and I think you'll get a good little good little quad. So thanks ever so much for watching. You have a fantastic day and enjoy the rest of the video.